So, what, so I'm, yeah. what I'm saying is this. There's no doubt about desire and the commitment and the willingness of the masses of the people to protest, to demand fundamental change in the Congo. But at the current time, what I observe is that there's a clear lack of political a type of leadership that will unify the Congo, unify the masses of the people, and to give them a broader perspective and put the Congo struggle in a broader perspective in terms of Africa unity, Africa freedom, and Africa liberation. And I believe that this is the opportunity for the Uhuru movement and the African Socialist International to provide that kind of leadership, to give the masses a clear perspective that even if we get rid of Kabila, we don't get rid of the continual oppression and exploitation of the Congolese people, of the African people. What you simply do is change the right and you don't change the horse. And the horse is U.S. imperialism, Western imperialism that has plundered the Congo for generations, for centuries. And until imperialism and its neo-colonial lackeys are defeated, irrespective of what a guys they come in, until that is happening, Africa will never move forward. And Africa is on the move. Africa is on the move and there is no stopping us. And its people are on the move worldwide. Oppressed humanity is on the move worldwide. World. And the struggle for freedom, the struggle requires our unity. Without our unity, from Cape to Cairo, from Cairo to Los Angeles, from Los Angeles to New York, to Kingston, Jamaica, to London, to Paris, Belgium. Wherever African people are, we are not alone. We are one billion strong. That's right. And if we stand united, we will defeat whatever forces who came to oppose us on this glorious forward march of our history as a people. Thank you very much Long for that, Long live comment. Africa. Long, Long live the oppressed people. Long live the Congo. Long live the unity of African people wherever they are. Uhuru. Victory, victory is certain. Yes, Uhuru.